Another question about Bootstrap Studio. Uh, I have a question about images. My images do not change the size in tablet and mobile preview. How to change the value of each? On some of the styles in editor, there is a lock sign that make changes of code. Okay, I'm going into Bootstrap Studio, just create that. Uh, name that what you want, of course. Okay, so if we go to row, on the left hand side, Okay, a row, uh, we just need one column. Okay, so that's popped in there. So now we need an image. And I've got this image here. Uh, I'm just gonna put this, my car in here. Hope nobody's thinking about pinching this car. It goes from not to 60 in about three days. Um, okay, so just, there. okay, right. So, um, convert to HTML and edit code. And we have this here. <coughs> okay, so in between here, okay, if we just zoom in on that, we're just going to put, uh, I'll just put that line down so you can see better. Okay, IMG source equal equals quotation marks uh, sit Ryan dot jpeg okay we can do the forward slash as well although it would still work without it all right so if you apply that there you see this huge huge image here um, and we just go to preview in Microsoft Edge when it uh, when it decides to load there we go okay so this this should be a big this is the original image of of this uh, photograph just bear with us on this okay so as you can see on the the bottom there that goes like that which is it certainly needs a wash doesn't it um you know so that's obviously not really what we need because then it's not responsive. So what I want to do, I'm just going to put a style in there or a class. You can put an ID as well. So just put class and I'm just going to put CIT. Okay. Apply that. And then we go to styles. Create. Uh, you can put this um, CIT. Okay. So uh, go mar uh, this is the the usual way, uh, margin left, auto margin right, auto, and then you have display block, display block, okay. So, and if you did that now, this is what it would look like, which doesn't seem to be very much different. Okay, so you just put in this and you put in width and 100%. Okay, so now we look at it. And it's refreshing. Okay, so there you go. There's no scroll bars at the bottom and no scroll bars when you go all the way through your tablet to your smartphone okay so that's how you do that um, again thanks for watching and thanks for listening